I just wonder for me, sometimes there are points of this that I kind of like scratch my head a little bit, right? The main spot is right here at measure 18, 19, and 20. I don't know how you feel about that, but like to me, it kind of comes out of nowhere. Um, with these kind of yeah, yeah, second yeah. note things here. Like it, you you introduce it, but then we never get it back. Like I almost feel like this could have just gone. I really liked how this clarinet line went up to this higher pitch and then you and then you you see how you dovetail that with the flute, which is really nice. But then like I would have like kind of liked for you to stay up there in the flute range and it also in the clarinet range because a lot of the piece is so low like the in range the english horn clarinet mm -hmm. bassoon the flute line is very low even the horns are very low you're like in this low world so i would either just stay there just go with your guns and stay down there but if you go up there i would have liked to stay up there a little bit and then come back down at c like this whole section here could have been page a page a page and a half long from like 18 yeah, to, yeah, yeah. so that would be my one big feedback is like your b section this is basically a b section needs a little work but your a section is beautiful like this whole thing i really like how these these mordants become trills these grace notes evolve well uh let's see the last page this whole thing you do here at the coda is really well done you know you bring back the mordant and the flute and then you even go down an octave there at the end as kind of like your codetta kind of thing really really nice and i like the polyphony here this whole thing here the C section. This is like the maximum that it is. We're ready for that by that point. I just think that this 18 to to, to 22, you know, I really would have thought you could have been more unified with the with these themes and keep it in a higher register and then spend more time there than bring it than bring it to C. I think that would have brought this home. Do you feel the same way? Do you not feel the same way? Was it something else you're trying to do? No, yeah, I, I completely agree with you. When I'm writing something, I have that problem that I introduced some new material and never come back to it. I, I didn't know why. And I, I even didn't realize why, why this uh, 30 second notes. And when you said it, yeah, it's, it's weird. And I mean, strange. Yeah. It I takes us out agree, of it. Yeah. It takes us out of it a little bit. I think it's fine to have stuff like that. In my opinion, it should be played around with a little bit more, or at least referred to again, because then it sounds almost like a mistake. Like this thing on the flute. Like if they try yeah, to do yeah, that, yeah. it will it will sound like a mistake if you don't do it a lot. Same on a clarinet. This yeah, is yeah, like yeah, almost yeah, yeah, impossible yeah. to play. Like I, I used to play clarinet. Like that's not possible. So there's a playability issue as well. Same on the yeah, yeah, on, yeah. The, on the bassoon. You have it over here. So there's it's not just compositional. It's also technical. In form is simple as you said. It's it's predictable. Yeah, I mean the predictability could be could be something I would like. Is this a finished piece or are you gonna move on to something else? I definitely can change some things you said. I always am like cautious about changing pieces that already exist because I always feel like the best learning, best development could happen when you start something new. And there might be some other project you're working on now that could benefit from feedback or just basically as long as people are kind of writing like some form of concert music, I can give feedback on it. It doesn't matter the aesthetic, as you can see, and people have wide variety of aesthetics so you yeah, yeah, yeah. this fits with what we're doing here just so you know in case you're concerned about that 